guys, today I'm filming my summer makeup must-haves for 2017. I really look forward to filming these seasonal makeup must-have videos. These videos do tend to be really long because I like to include products for eyes, cheeks, lips, and nails. In these videos, I do sometimes mention products that are limited edition or discontinued, and that isn't to rub it in your face. It is to encourage you to pull these items out of your collection, and it's also just me letting you know what products I will actually be using this season. I will have everything listed down below, but for the products that are limited edition or discontinued, I will try to find them online at eBay and Amazon so you guys can get your hands on them as well. Also, I wanted to say that I don't think that you can only wear neons during the summertime and only wear vampy shades during the fall and winter. You can wear whatever you want any time of year, but because I have such a large makeup collection, I like to split up my makeup into seasons. Colors that I think I would love to rock in the seasons, and I do like the stereotypical colors for the seasons, which I think is just fine. And it really does help me get use out of all the products in my collection. So starting out with eyes, this is the category for summer where I usually have the least amount of products because it's the category I get the least excited about. But this year I have a lot more shadows and I want to challenge myself with a lot more color. So I'm really excited for that and future single shadows of the month video. But first I have three cream shadow options. I think cream shadows are fantastic for the summer. If you get yourself a beautiful metallic cream shadow, pop it on the lid, a little bronzer in your crease, mascara, you are good to go. Metallic cream shadows are perfect to make it look like you put in a lot of effort into your look when really it was just super simple and quick. So I have three cream shadow recommendations. The first is one that I've actually used up. That is the Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. A beautiful, more cool tone bronze, but that is one of my most used products in the summertime. I have another Maybelline Color Tattoo, which was unfortunately limited edition. This is the shade Caramel Cool, a beautiful coppery, caramel color and this is similar to mac rubenesque paint pot not a dupe but similar and i love this color so much and then i have a milani shadow eyes pencil in the shade golden bronze it is a similar color to maybelline caramel cool but it's basically two different versions, pot and a pencil. This was discontinued, unfortunately, which is a huge bummer because I love the formula and this color. Now, coppery shades are usually something I use in the fall, but in the fall, I have so many eyeshadows that I hardly ever reach for these, so I thought I might get better use out of them in the summertime. So moving on to some ColourPop shadows, I'm sure there's a ton in my collection that I could really love and use in the summertime, but these are the four shades that I have pulled out the first one is the shade Millionaire, which is a metallic finish. This is a really intense metallic bronze with a lot of glitter. Then we have Coconut, which is a pearlized finish, and this is a really pretty royal blue color. And this isn't something I would typically think of for summer, but it was released in a summer collection along with Millionaire, which is why I'm just going to try it out, see if I can make myself come up with a look using this. Next, I have ColourPop Ibiza, which is a pearlized finish. This is a beautiful, bright blue color that they had discontinued, then brought back for a very limited amount of time. So I hope you guys were able to snag this. It is a stunning color. And then I have Animal, which is a pressed pigment finish. This is a super neon coral color. Really interested to see how I can make this work, but I just thought those would be some nice ColourPop shadows for the summer. And then I have one drugstore little mini palette. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Plush Silk Quad in the shade Irresistibly Ivy. I think this was discontinued, which is such a bummer. These two colors right here I think are amazing for the summer and I love the formula of these shadows. So then I have quite a few single shadows from Makeup Geek and MAC. So as you see, we've got a lot of blues and greens going for this season. This is a Makeup Geek foil shadow in the shade Pegasus. And then I have two matte Makeup Geek shadows in the shade Snapdragon and Shark Bait. These are colors that I haven't really used much, so I want to challenge myself to use them this summer. Then I have one MAC eyeshadow in the shade Amber Light. And then some other warm MAC eyeshadows I plan on using would be Woodwinked soft brown and brown script and also in august i like to wear more olive tones and this one is max sumptuous olive so these four shadows here i'll be wearing a lot this summer 
And then from the original Urban Decay Naked palette, there's a lot of great warm colors that would be fantastic for the summer. I'm going to be using Half Baked, Buck, and Naked to create a look. And maybe a little bit of smog, we'll see about that one. And then from this, the balm in the balm of your hand palette, I will be using Mischievous Marissa as a lid color and the shade Lead Zeppelin as a lower lash line shade. This eyeshadow is also available in the Balm Jovi palette, and this is available in the Shady Lady Special Edition palette. And along with this look, I will also be wearing MAC Soft Brown in Brown Script. And then I have some Anastasia eyeshadows. These are from the Tamana palette. I'll be wearing Gilded on my lid, Bengal in my crease, and also the Anastasia single in Birkin as my transition color. And lastly for shadow, for some great warm tone colors and brights, I'll be using the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. I have the Masquerade Mini. I haven't actually used this yet, but I definitely will do a palette of the month featuring this. And I actually have one eyeliner recommendation, and this is more of something that I want to challenge myself to wear that I think would be beautiful with bronze eyeshadows, tan skin. And that would be a cobalt blue eyeliner. The one that I have is the L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me liner in the shade cobalt blue. I've only worn this once, so I want to challenge myself to wear it more, and I think it would look beautiful with gold and bronze shadows, like I said. So some of these eyeshadows were ones I typically worn in the fall, but I think they would also look beautiful in the summer time and I have way too many shadows picked out for the fall time so splitting them out between these two seasons I think is gonna really work for me moving on to cheek products because I have so many different bronzer contour and highlighting products I do like to designate a specific one for each season to make sure that I use all of the ones in my collection so for bronzer I have one product that is a surprise favorite that I know I'm gonna be loving this summer and this is the bare minerals bare skin sheer Sun bronzer this is just a little sample of the bare minerals liquid bronzer this is fantastic especially for people that have a lighter skin tone. And then the actual powder bronzers I'll be using are from Milani. These were, of course, limited edition. These are matte baked bronzers. The lighter shade in Sunset I will use to bronze, and the darker shade in Sienna I will use to contour. These are very warm powders, but they don't pull too orange or too red on me, and I actually love contouring with this warm bronzer. I think it looks really nice in the summertime. So disappointed these are limited edition because the formula is incredible. For highlighter, I'll be reaching for my Estee Lauder Pure Color Gelée in the shade Heat Wave. There are 50 million dupes for this gold highlight, so this isn't unique, but it is the only gold highlighter I have. Gold is a really hard color to pull off on my skin tone for highlight, so the only time I can get away with it is in the summer. I also think Becca Opal would look really pretty. I might play with that one as well this summer. For blushes, I have about 50 million. I have three drugstore three high-end, and a bunch from MAC. So I'm not gonna give you descriptions for all of my blushes because basically all of them are some version of a pinky coral, which is my favorite color in general and my favorite for the summer. I have Sonia Cashbook's Melon, which is a matte blush. I have the Makeup Geek blush in XOXO, which is a matte finish. I have the Essence Blush from the Beauty Beats collection in the shade Groupie at Heart. This is a matte blush and it was unfortunately limited edition. For my MAC blushes, they're all from years and years and years of summer limited edition collections, except I do have one permanent blush and that would be the shade Fleur Power, which is a satin finish. MAC Fleet Fast from the Hey Sailor collection is a satin finish. MAC Ripe for Love from the Temperature Rising Collection is a satin finish. MAC Hipness from the Wash and Dry Collection is a frost finish. MAC Peaches and Cream from the Sharon Osborne Collection is a satin finish. MAC Sideshow You from the Simpsons Collection is a satin finish. Out of all of them, this one might be my favorite. MAC Painted Canyon from the Vibe Tribe Collection is a satin finish. MAC Sweet Sweet Fantasy from the Mariah Carey Collection is a satin finish. And I also just ordered a, another MAC blush from their newest collection. This is in the shade Sugar or Syrup, and it is a satin finish, I believe. So I will be using that this summer as well, but I don't have that one yet. But I just cannot resist the summer blushes from MAC. And then we have my three high-end blushes that are not from MAC. 
The first one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Magic. This is a matte finish. This was limited edition, but it has been released in several different sets. Estee Lauder Pink Kiss is a satin finish blush. The Balm's Hot Mama is a gorgeous pinky coral color with a ton of golden sheen. This is amazing, amazing in the summertime, especially if you have tan skin. So next we have lip products. I have quite a few that I plan on rocking this summer. And in the summer, I like more easygoing formulas like regular bullet lipsticks, jumbo lip crayons, lip glosses, but I do have a couple liquid lipsticks in here as well. I'm not really into very bright colors except for in the summertime. And then I do have some colors that I think will be a lot more wearable than some of these bright shades without being a nude. So first I have two Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks which were discontinued but both of these shades that I have are available in their new Vice lipstick range and the colors are exactly the same. And the first lipstick I have is in the shade Naked. This is a cream finish. And when I look at this, I thought this would be a pinky nude. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. This pool's a lot more warm. And I think this is going to be a go-to lip product for me because it does have that beautiful, warm, peachy color, but it isn't so bright and neon. And if I want to wear a more intense eye, this would be a great lip color to pair with it. Right here is a swatch of Urban Decay Naked. And then I have Urban Decay Streak, which is also a cream finish. This is one of the most perfect pinky coral colors without pulling too hot pink or too orange. And here's a swatch of Urban Decay Streak. And then I have five of the MAC Sheen Supreme lipsticks. All five shades I had were limited edition. You might still be able to find them at your CCOs. Unfortunately, this lipstick line as a whole has been discontinued, which sucks because it was my favorite lipstick line from MAC. I like it way better than any of the finishes of their regular lipsticks. These are very moisturizing, but they give full on color and a beautiful glossy shine. The first shade I have is Playtime, which is a bright medium blue tone pink. Here is a swatch of MAC Playtime. MAC Pleasure Fruit is a really bright, neon, warm watermelon coral. Here is a swatch of MAC Pleasure Fruit. MAC Lust Extract is a really bright, very purple tone pink. Here is a swatch of MAC Lust Extract. MAC Phosphorescent is a very bright, warm coral. Right here is a swatch of MAC Phosphorescent. And the last one I have is MAC Phenomenal, which is almost a coral berry shade. And right here is a swatch of Phenomenal. Then I have two of the MAC Patent Polish Lip Pencil, which is my other favorite lip formula from MAC. Luckily, this is a permanent product. It comes in several shades, but these two shades are perfect for me for the summertime. These do give about a medium opacity. They have a beautiful shine to them, and they do last for a decent amount of time on the lips. The first one I have is Go For Girly, which is the perfect neon pinky coral. I love wearing this with MAC Sideshow U Blush. And right here is a swatch of MAC Go For Girly. And then I have Fearless, which is a medium blue tone pink. And I love wearing this with the MAC Blush and Peaches and Cream. And right here is a swatch of MAC Fearless. And then I have one ColourPop lippy stick. I only have one. Can you believe it? There's a ton of other shades I could choose, but this is the perfect color for summer. This is the shade Rocket, which is a pinky coral, and this has a satin finish. And here's a swatch of ColourPop Rocket. And then I do have one random purple lipstick. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Molly. I fell in love with this a couple summers back when I wore this in combination with the bronzy eyeshadows in the Anastasia Tamana palette. I love that look so much that this has become a summer staple for me. And right here is a swatch of ColourPop Molly. And then these four shades I have here are more of muted, corally warm pink shades. And these four lip colors are ones that I would normally wear in the fall time, but in the fall I wear my straight up nude colors, so I hardly ever reach for these. So I felt like these colors would be most fitting for me actually during the summertime. If I was wearing a more colorful eye, I wouldn't want to also wear a very bold lip. So I thought these would be great options when I'm wearing a more intense eye 
or when I just want a more wearable lip, but this isn't a nude. It does still give a lot of beautiful color, but all four of these are more muted, warm pinks. First is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Solo, which is one of my all-time favorite colors. This is a beautiful muted salmon. And right here is a swatch of ColourPop Solo. Next, I have the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade November, which is similar to Solo, but this has more peach in it, while Solo has a bit more pink. Solo is a little bit brighter, and November is a little bit deeper, a little bit more muted. So here is a swatch of ColourPop November. They are similar, so if you don't like the Ultra Matte Lip formula, then you might want to go with this Ultra Satin in November. And then I have two regular bullet lipsticks that are both comfort matte finishes. The first one is the Clinique Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte Beauty. And this swatch right here is Clinique Matte Beauty. And the last one is the Milani Moisture Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte Darling. And right here is a swatch of Milani Matte Darling. This one is a bit brighter and a little bit more pink than the Clinique, but you definitely don't need them both. So these are all of the lip products I have picked out for summer 2017. So moving on to nail polishes, I do like to wear bright shades in the summer, but my two go-to colors would be various shades of blue and various shades of coral. I do have a whole collection of neons that I'm going to share with you. I don't love most neon polishes because they dry matte and I hate matte polishes. Even if I put a clear top coat on them, they chip off so quickly on me and they can be streaky and hard to work with. So I'm not really a neon fan, but these are great bright shades that are cream finishes. So starting with the blues, the first one I have is Essie's in the Cabana. This is a beautiful bright blue without being too neon. It's a really pretty wearable shade, opaque in two coats. Then I have China Glaze Capacity to See Beyond, which was limited edition from the Giver collection. This is also a beautiful blue. When you compare these, you can see that Essie has a little bit more green in it, while China Glaze has more of that true blue. Then I have the Formula X polish in high frequency, a beautiful, beautiful, mostly blue polish with some green in it. Then I have a Berry M jelly polish in the shade Greenberry, which is the most neon blue green ever. I don't know how to describe this color. I've never seen a polish that I think looks similar to this. It is so freaking cool and so bright without having that neon matte finish. Then I have OPI Fearlessly Alice. This is a stunning, stunning bright blue. This one does stain your nails, so do be warned. And then of course, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Pacific Blue, the most perfect cobalt blue. I do have the OG formula, lucky for me. I like wearing this polish on its own, but I also love wearing an accent color with it, which would be OPI Glitzerlin. This is the perfect sandy gold color. I also love wearing this on its own. Moving on to my coral polishes, I have one of the Wet n Wild Wild Shines, which are only a dollar, and this is in the shade She Sells. Then I have OPI. I got myself into a jambalaya. Zoya's Wendy, which was one of my very first discovered corals, the perfect pinky coral shade, opaque in two coats. I love Zoya formula. Then I have two sort of pastel neons from Color Club. These do have more of a satin sort of matte finish, but they are pretty easy to work with. And the first one I have is East Austin, which is so hard for this one to pick up true to color on camera because it is that neon of a peach. And then I have Wicker Park, which is a really bright neon lavender color. So stunning, the perfect pinky purple. And then I have the entire Maybelline Color Show Bleach Neons collection. I purchased this a couple years ago off of Amazon. If I can find these links, I will have them for you. The concept of pastel neon is so beautiful and these apply really nicely. I've tried Maybelline polishes in the past and haven't liked them, but these are good. This purple is ultraviolet, coral heat, pink punch, day glow teal, bleached and peach, lime accent. 
I'm pretty sure I have the whole collection. If I'm missing one, maybe it's a yellow. I don't wear yellow polish. I have yet to wear lime accent and bleached in peach. I've heard that the peach color is not the best formula, but the rest of them are really fantastic. I have worn all four of the other shades and I absolutely love them. I think they're such beautiful colors and actually a really good formula. So guys, that was my very long summer makeup must-haves for 2017. These are all the products that I plan on using this season. I would love to know your thoughts on any of the products that I've mentioned, and I would love to know what are your summer staples when it comes to makeup. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.